your tongue is like your violin. In the symphony of human existence, the tongue and the violin stand as two seemingly disparate yet remarkably harmonious instruments. At first glance, they might seem to belong to entirely separate realms, one a physical organ of speech and taste, the other a finely crafted musical instrument. However, upon closer examination, profound parallels emerge, revealing the intricate interplay between these two entities in shaping our experiences, emotions, and expression. With its slender body, graceful calves, and delicate strings, the violin's ethereal melodies can evoke a myriad of emotions, from the sad strains of a lament to the triumphant notes of jubilation. The violin serves as a vessel for the soul's most profound expressions. Similarly, with its versatile movements and nuanced articulations, the tongue serves as the conduit through which we vocalize our thoughts, convey our feelings, and engage in the rich tapestry of human communication. Just as a violinist must master the intricate techniques of bowing, fingering, and intonation to produce harmonious music, so must individuals refine their linguistic skills and rhetorical finesse to articulate their ideas effectively. The violinist and the orator require discipline, practice, and a keen sense of nuance to convey their messages clearly and emotionally. Furthermore, both the tongue and the violin can transcend linguistic and cultural barriers speaking directly to the depths of the human soul. Whether through the haunting strains of a violin, concerto, or the eloquent candace of a well-crafted speech, these instruments can evoke profound emotions, foster connections, and transcend the limitations of words alone. Through this exploration, we embark on a journey of discovery, delving into the fascinating parallels between the tongue and the violin, and gaining a deeper appreciation for the intricate interplay between sound, language, and human expression. As we unravel the mysteries of these two remarkable instruments. We uncover the profound beauty and complexity of human communication. There are seven pillars on how your tongue is like your violin. The first pillar of how your tongue is like your violin is precision and technique. Effective communication necessitates mastery of language and articulation to convey thoughts and emotions accurately. For instance, consider a skilled violinist meticulously maneuvering their bow across the strings to produce a seamless melody. Each note is carefully placed and every movement is deliberate, requiring high precision and technique to achieve the desired expression. Similarly, in communication, individuals must carefully select their words and phrases modulates their tone and pitch and employ appropriate gestures 
and body language to convey their message effectively. As violinists adjust their bowing technique to produce different dynamics and expressions, communicators must adapt their linguistic and vocal delivery to suit the context and the audience. Moreover, consistency is critical to achieving desired outcomes in both violin playing and communication. A violinist must maintain consistent bow pressure, finger placement, and intonation to ensure a smooth and cohesive performance. Similarly, consistency in language use, clarify, clarity of expression, and coherence of ideas are essential for conveying meaning accurately and building rapport with the audience. Furthermore, as violinists undergo recorders training and practice to refine their skills, effective communicators continuously hone their language proficiency and articulation through practice, feedback, and reflection. By striving for precision and mastery in communication, individuals can enhance their ability to express themselves clearly, connect with others empathetically, and navigate the complexities of interpersonal interaction with confidence and grace. The second pillar of how your tone is like your violin is emotional expression. The tongue and the violin serve as mediums for expression, expressing emotions, allowing individuals to communicate in diverse spe spectrum of feelings ranging from joy and grief to affection and yearning through spoken words or melodic notes. For instance, consider the heartfelt words of a poet conveying the depths of love and longing through lyrical verses. The poet paints a picture of profound emotion through carefully chosen words and vivid imagery, evoking empathy and resonate in readers' hearts. Similarly, a violinist performing a soulful melody can convey the same sentiments through the expressive nuances of their playing, eliciting a visceral response from listeners who are moved by the music's expression and expressive power. Moreover, the tongue and the violin can evoke joy and celebration in their respective mediums. A jubilant speech delivered with enthusiasm and warmth can uplift spirits and inspire optimism. At the same time, a lively violin performance filled with spirited rhythms and vibrant melodies can spark joy and exhilaration in those who hear it. Furthermore, the tongue and the violin offer solace and catharsis in moments of sorrow and grief, whether through consoling words of comfort and empathy of the mournful strains of a melancholy violin melody, individuals can find solace and release in expressing their emotions, fascinating healing, facilitating healing and emotional processing. In essence, the tongue and the violin share a familiar role as conduits for emotional expression, allowing individuals to communicate and connect with others on a deeply human level. Whether through spoken words or musical notes, both mediums can evoke profound emotions 
forge meaningful connections and enrich the human experience with the depth and breadth of human emotion. The third pillar of how your tongue is like your violin is practice and discipline. Similar to the discipline dedicated dedication of a violinist, refining linguistic skills demands unwavering commitment and persistence. Consistent practice and discipline are indispensable for mastering language intricacies and communication proficiency. For instance, imagine a violinist practicing scales and exercising daily to refine their technique and improve their playing. Through repetitive practice and focused attention to detail, they gradually develop fluency in their instrument, mastering complex fingering patterns and bowing techniques. Similarly, individuals aspiring to enhance their linguistic skills must engage in regular practice, such as reading, writing, and speaking, to cultivate fluency and proficiency in their chosen language. By consistently immersing themselves in language-rich environments, and actively seeking opportunities for communication, they can refine their vocabulary, grammar, and pronunciation over time. Moreover, just as a violinist benefits from structured practice routines and an instructor feedback, language learners can accelerate their progress by adopting effective study habits and seeking guidance from experienced mem mentors or language tutors. Constructive feedback and guidance help identify areas for improvement and provide valuable insights for refining linguistic abilities. Furthermore, Maintaining discipline and perseverance in language learning is essential for overcoming challenges and setbacks that may arise along their way. Whether grappling with complex grammar rules, unfamiliar vocabulary or pronunciation difficulties, individuals who persistently persevere in their linguistic pursuits are more likely to overcome obstacles and achieve their goals. In summary, the disciplined practice required of a violinist mirrors the dedication and perseverance needed to hone linguistic skills by committing to regular practice seeking feedback and maintaining resilience in the face of challenges. Individuals can cultivate fluency and proficiency in communication, ultimately achieving mastery of language and fostering meaningful connections with others. The fourth pillar of how your language is like your violin is nuance and interpretation. Both the violin and the tongue depend on subtlety and interpretation to convey significance. Just as violinists imbue their performance with deli delicate changes in dynamics and phrasing, Skilled communicators utilize tone, inflection, and body language to enrich their message and forge connections with their audience. Consider a violinist performing a classical piece where subtle variations in bow pressure and articulation lend depth 
and emotion to the music by employing nuanced dynamics and phrasing. The violinist conveys the piece narrative evoking a range of emotions in the listener. Similarly, in communication, influential speakers modulate their tone and inflection to convey emphasis, sincerity, or agency, enhancing the impact of their message and engaging the audience on a deeper level. Moreover, just as a violinist body language and gestures complement their performance, communicators use non-verbal clues, such as facial expressions, gestures, and postures to reinforce their verbal message and convey additional layers of meaning. For example, a persuasive speaker may use confident body language and gestures to underscore critical points, fostering credibility and rapport with the audience. Furthermore, violinists and communicators rely on interpretation to convey nuanced meanings and evoke emotional responses. A skilled violinist interprets the composer's intentions, infusing their performance with personal expression and artistic interpretation. Similarly, effective communicators interpret their audience needs and preferences, tailoring their message and delivery to resonate with listeners and achieve the desired impact. The parallels between the violin and the tongue highlight the importance of nuance and interpretation in communication. By leveraging subtle variations in tone, inflection, and non-verbal cues, communicators can enrich their message captivate their audience and foster meaningful connections that transcend words alone. The fifth pillar of how your tongue is like your violin is collaboration and harmony. In ensemble performance, the violin plays a crucial role in creating a harmonious fusion of sound akin to how successful communication cultivates cooperation and unity within interpersonal relationships and group interactions. For instance, imagine an orchestra in which each section, including the violin, collaborates seamlessly to produce a symphony of music with its distinct timbre and versatility the violin contributes to the assembly's overall balance and cohesion adding depth and richness to the collective sound similarly effective team or social group communication involves each member act actively participating and contributing to the shared dialogue by engaging in open and respectful communication. Individuals can exchange ideas, resolve conflicts, and collaborate to, towards common goals, fostering a harmonious atmosphere conducive to productivity and mutual support. Moreover, as the violinist must listen attentively to other musicians and adjust their playing to maintain balance and synchronization within the assembly. Effective communicators actively listen to others' perspectives and adapt their communication style to ensure clarity and understanding.
by cultivating empathetic listening skills and remaining receptive to diverse viewpoints, individuals can foster a sense of inclusivity and collaboration within their interpersonal relationships and group dynamics. Furthermore, in assembly, playing effective communication, leadership is crucial in guiding and coordinating collective efforts towards a shared objective. Just as a conductor directs the orchestra, ensuring unity of purpose and synchronized performance, influential leaders in interpersonal communication provide direction, facilitate consensus building, and inspire teamwork, ultimately fostering collaboration and harmony among group members. The analogy between ensemble playing and effective communication underscores the importance of cooperation, coordination, and mutual respect in achieving harmony within interpersonal relationships and group dynamics. By recognizing and valuing each individual's contributions, fostering open dialogue, and embracing collective goals, individuals can create a harmonious environment where collaboration thrives and mutual respect flourishes. The sixth pillar of how your tongue is like your violin is creativity and innovation. The tongue and the violin provide avenues for creativity and innovation, enabling individuals to explore novel and imaginative expressions through linguistic and musical means. For instance, consider the art of improvisation in both language and music. Just as a jazz musician improvises melodies on the spot, spontaneously weaving together notes and rhythms to create a unique musical experience. Individuals can engage in linguistic improvisation by spontaneously crafting stories, poems, or speeches drawing upon their vocabulary and imagination to express themselves creatively and unexpectedly. Moreover, both the tongue and the violin offer opportunities for composition, allowing individuals to create original works of art that reflect their unique style and vision. Whether composing a symphony or writing a poem, individuals can harness their linguistic and musical talents to convey their thoughts, emotions, and experiences in innovative and expressive ways. Furthermore, in language, individuals can create new words and phrases, expanding the boundaries of linguistic expression and enriching communication with fresh and inventive vocabulary. Similarly, composers push the boundaries of musical expression by experimenting with new harmonies, rhythms, and forms, pioneering innovative approaches to composition that inspire and captivate audiences. The tongue and the violin serve as canvases for creativity and innovation, inviting individuals to explore the limitless possibilities of human express expression. Individuals can unleash their creative potential through improvisation, composition, or linguistic invention. 
pushing the boundaries of artistic expression and leaving their mark on the world through their unique contributions to language and music. The seventh pillar of how your tongue is like your violin is cultural and historical context. Like the violin's profound connections to cultural and historical traditions, language is inherently intertwined with the cultural context in which it evolves. Appreciating language's cultural and historical significance enhances communication and cultivates respect for diverse linguistic heritage. For example, the violin's origins trace back to various cultures, including Italian, French, and Germany, each contributing unique techniques and styles to its development. Similarly, languages worldwide bear traces of their cultural origins with vocabulary, grammar, and expressions reflecting their respecting their respecting communities, historical influences, and societal norms. For instance, the English language incorporates words and phrases from diverse linguistic sources, such as Latin, French, and Germanic languages, reflecting the cultural exchanges and historical interactions that have shaped its evolution over centuries. Furthermore, understanding a language cultural and historical context enriches cross-cultural communication by fostering empathy and mutual respect. By recognizing the diverse linguistic traditions and cultural nuances embedded within language, individuals can navigate intercultural interactions with sensitivity and appreciation for different perspectives. For instance, learning about the cultural significance of various languages, greetings, gestures, and taboos can help bridge communication gaps and build rapport with speakers from different cultural backgrounds. Moreover, language preservation efforts are crucial in safeguarding cultural heritage and promoting linguistic diversity. By preserving endangered languages and dialects, communities can maintain connections to their cultural roots and pass down tradition, no, traditional knowledge, stories, and customs to future generations. For example, initiatives to document and revitalize indigenous languages contribute to preserving cultural identity and promoting intergenerational transmission of cultural heritage. In essence, recognizing the deep cultural and historical roots of both the violin and language underscores the importance of embracing linguistic diversity and fostering intercultural understanding. By valuing and celebrating diverse linguistic traditions, individuals can enrich communication, promote cultural appreciation, and contribute to a more inclusive and interconnected global community. This is Dr. Masasekan Misha Kosa, Director of the Fresh Thinking School of Education. We thank you for coming around. Thank you.